Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1456 that says maximum number of vowels in a substring of given length. So guys this is very standard question as it has very much particular solution. So yeah we will discuss the question as well as what solution do this type of question has and towards the video. So yeah watch the video till the end and make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Now here you are asked to find a uh, you are given a string s and an integer k and you are asked to find the number of vowels present in a substring s of a length k that means for a given string you need to check all the substring of a length k and find what is the maximum number of vowels present in the substring right you need to check that so for an example see these are the list of the vowels and you follow a string like this what can be different possible substring so one substring is a b c another is b c i then C I I, then I I I, then I I G, then I D E, D E F. So these are the uh, list of possible substrings, right? These are the different possible substrings. And here, as you can see, the maximum uh, number of vowels is present in this substring, right? In this substring, because there are three guys, three guys. So yeah, this is our answer, and this is what we written in the output. So clear now what is substring? Substring is nothing but uh, uh, it is a part of a string. It is a continuous part of a string. See, it is a continuous part of a string. We we cannot break uh, it, right? We cannot delete any characters here in a substring. It is a continuous part. Now taking this example, a e i o u. So this uh, string can be split into substring like this, a e e i i o o u. And you can see that each substring has a uh, two vowels in them, right? Each has two vowels because this complete string is also is containing of vowels. So yeah, we written two as our answer. That is a length of a substring. So the maximum output can be nothing but k. For any given input, the maximum output can be nothing but k, right? Because that many uh, characters would be there in each substring because each substring is a length k. So that can be the maximum possible output or maximum number of vowels in a string. Now if you take a look at this example, so let's first make the uh, our possible substring e e t e t c t c o c o d o d e. So these are the different possible substrings for a given string and we need to check what is the maximum number of vowels is there. So here it is 2, here it is 2 yeah so yeah none other substring has more than two so yeah two is our answer right here o d e this will also contain two okay so these three are the substring that contain two vowels and this is the maximum of all the substring so i guess got this that um, for a given string we have to find the number of substring and for each substring we will check how many vowels does it contains okay so for getting any given example uh, so let's talk about first the brute force approach. So for any given example like this, A, X, E, E, R, P, T, F, G. And let's say K equals to 3. Let's keep it 3. So for any given uh, our example like this, what would be the brute force approach? So brute force approach would be first generate all the substrings like A, X, E, then x e d e d f d f g then for each substring check the count of vowels right so here the count of vowels is one here the count of vowels is two a in e here it is one here it is one and here also uh, a e i o u none so here it is zero so this is the brute force approach so first generate all the substrings and then for each substring check the count of vowels right so yeah so guys now the time complexity for this approach would be nothing but big o of n plus n into k so first big o of n because we have to generate all the substring this is because in the worst case maximum number of substrings can be big o of n maximum number of substring and in that case you have to check for k characters of each substring so that's why this would be the time complexity so we go off and for generating all the substrings and then n into k to check uh, for the frequency or the number of vowels in each substring that would be the time complexity got this so this is for the brute force approach 
but now on a single run of this string can we uh, conclude how many uh, vowels are there see this is the given string so what we can do is we can uh, we can keep checking for this these three characters first then these three characters then these three characters then these three and then these three up till then so we will check three characters at a time and then we will skip one of the character and ch check next three skip one of the character check next three skip one ch check next three so guys this is what this is nothing but sliding window technique so this is nothing but sliding window so in a sliding window what we do is we check k characters at a time right then skip first character and then check next character next k character so what we can do here is we can keep a count this count is nothing but the frequency of vowels in string s frequency or you can say count simply a count of vowels in a string s so to keep this count first we will check for the first three characters then what we would do is for the next uh, k characters so what we would do we would uh, make sure that count plus equals to the new character so if we will check if it is a vowel or not and also we would check whether the character that we have discarded that is i minus k is vowel or not because if the last character that we discarded then in the count that is the current uh, slide current window so we have to discard the count right with the character that we have discarded if it was if it is a vowel then also we have to reduce the count so yeah we will keep in a mind that while adding a new character to our window we also have to check the character that we have discarded because if the character that we have discarded if it is a vowel then we have to reduce our count that is the number of vowels in the current window so we will have to reduce it so you guys got this so using this approach we can solve this question easily right and in the time complexity of big of n see guys not talking about the standard problem that i told you earlier so whenever you are given a problem for us uh, to find a count or to check in substring so in this situation there is a you can take sliding window as a thumb rule sliding window as a thumb rule so i will show you some of the problems see there is one another problem known as longest substring without repeating characters so here also you have to check something in a substring so in this problem you can also apply sliding window another problem like maximum window substring the equation name itself has a window so here also you have you can apply sliding window this problem to find all the anagrams of a string so anagrams is nothing but a sequence of continuous sequence of words continuous sequence of character of a given word so yeah here also you can apply sliding window technique so all this type of question where you have to compute or check something in a substring you can apply sliding window got this so this you can take it as a thumb rule right so yeah guys now moving on to the coding part so first i declare the set so it is easy to find whether the given character is a part of the set or not then this for loop is to check for the first window so the first window that is from zeroth index character up till the k minus 1 index i check what is the count in the current window count of vowels in the current window by this is this vowels dot count s of i so this will check whether the given character s of i is a part of this vowels characters or not right if it is a part then it will return one now i have initialized the answer variable with the count and for each window what i am doing i am calculating the new count that is by adding the new character in the window and removing the i minus k character from the window right if they are if they are vowels then uh, here it would be minus 1 if they are not a vowel then we would simply subtract zero similarly if it is a vowel then plus 1 else zero so this vowels dot count will handle this either to add one or not to add right and if for each window we have to track answer whether we get better answer then update the answer correct and at the end return the answer so yeah the code part is very much simple here the only thing is you have to uh, understand how sliding window applied here and for this type of substring problems you can apply such sliding window for those problems so yeah guys uh, that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you